Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm your host, Conrad Yacobelis. Now, in our last interview, we were talking to Google about back to school trends and technology. Well, because we do live in a very technological advanced age, one of the things that's important is social media, whether that's from Instagram to podcasting to Twitter to putting yourself out there. Advertising is all around us, and whether you're just some Insta famous person to someone trying to get big, we are here and joined by the CEO of Influencer Press, a man who is n notorious for you know making people <laughs> big in advertising, Ulysses Osuna. Thank you so much Dude, for joining thank us. Thank you man. so much for having me. <laughs> so, I'm very new to this whole influencer press thing. Can you just start off by what is influencer press? For sure. So we help out like the influencers, the people that have thousands, millions of followers, and we help them get on TV. So stuff like this, stuff on like publications like Forbes, The Inc, The Entrepreneur Magazine, and all that type of stuff. So um, a lot of what it is is we're kind of uh, creating like this persona of who they want to be mm -hmm. and putting it out to the masses because that helps with business and helps with um, just ego, self confidence. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, people have businesses and they just want to get that out to the world, mm -hmm. right? Or they have a message that they need to share. So that's our job to kind of position them and place them the, the way they want to be placed in these big media outlets. Well, and I think that you, you touched on a big uh, point there where you talked about personality because yeah. businesses, it kind of was just the product that people were selling. And now, because we live in an age where people kind of show themselves, whether it's through Facebook, personality is huge. I mean, um, one one platform I love is Twitch. And yeah, someone's playing video games, but it's also the streamer that dictates how long I'm going to be watching for. Right. So in your opinion, how big is personality versus product or is personality the product? Dude, personality beats professionalism mm -hmm. any day. Like people want to connect with a human, right? They, um, cause I, I know in business, like when, when I went to college and stuff and when we go to like high school, they, mm -hmm. they teach you about business and they teach you that you need to be professional, that you need to be um, a certain way. Um, but you realize like once you're actually in this game that people love personality, right? Like if you're charismatic, mm -hmm. um, if you love what you're doing, like people love that a lot more than if you're just, um, just trying to be here, just trying to sell to somebody or just being here, um, trying to act professional to close a deal. Like people love connecting with people mm -hmm. and you'll win a lot more that way. And that's why there's a lot of people, you know, on social media that connect with these influencers that they follow them. That's the main reason why they follow them, right? Yeah. Because of their personality, because of who they are. And they see a little bit of themselves within that person so it's huge and 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 you you step in because it's not someone could have the greatest personality but unfortunately if they don't know how to advertise themselves properly right. they're not going to get out there and that's where you step in is you take those people and you kind of show them hey I'll, I'll lend you the way I'll show you the way of how to become this huge um, you know more marketable person right. um, can you kind of give us some of your clients just so we know like because sure. you have some high profile clients we do we do um, Ed Milet is one of them mm -hmm. so he has a net worth of like over 400 mm -hmm. million um, Bedros Koulian, so he has close to a thousand franchise locations. Um, Tonio Skits, he has like over 3.3 million followers. So like a lot of these people, we work with them because they might be really big, right? But they still need that person to kind of get them out there to, mm -hmm. to share out their message or to position them the way they want to be positioned or they have a book launch or they have a campaign that they're doing. They still need a PR firm or somebody like us to kind of help them out with that because um, here's the thing that not too many people understand is that anybody like anybody in business an influencer even though they seem huge and like out of their you know out of most people's reach they're actually they're human and that means they need help in things that they're not good at right so you can be in accounting and still help out a big time influencer mm -hmm. which can skyrocket your career because then you can leverage their name to get with other influencers and stuff like that um, and not so many people realize that is there kind of a blend between you know bottom influencers versus top influencers or, or do you guys kind of like all follow the same methodology or is it very much okay you're 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 on the bottom we know that we're going to have to do this 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 before you hit these steps right yeah it's a good question mm -hmm. so in each scenario they're kind of in the perfect place because mm -hmm. if they if they are at the bottom yeah. then that means they don't have a brand yet so mm -hmm. like we can create that we can okay. position them correctly before they even start mm -hmm. right to get them up there and if they do have a brand all we have to do is amplify it. Mm -hmm. So in each kind of category, like they're in that perfect place to kind of get a certain amount of PR or, it, and a lot of it is just, just positioning. So I can talk about like the media and, and articles and all that type of stuff that ultimately, ultimately create this persona of who you are. But at the end of the day, it's positioning because the media itself won't get you much, mm -hmm. but it's how you leverage it that really makes a difference. 
And how close do you guys work with your clients? Is it is it kind of like, oh, we'll check in with emails, or are you guys like, give us a call at 4 a.m. if you need to? Right, so I've learned very early on yeah. um, not to give clients my phone number. Because, <laughs> because they'll keep calling you? Yeah, they'll call you at the middle of the night, like I'll wake <laughs> up to messages, um, and in the morning is mm -hmm. when I'm most vulnerable, yeah. right? I just woke up, I didn't do my morning routine, I didn't, didn't train my coffee, brain. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, so I learned very on not to give them my phone number because I need to be very kind of exclusive with my time because I can leverage time and I can leverage money, but I can't leverage my energy. Like I, I, will, I will only have a certain amount of energy every single day. Mm -hmm. So um, we work with them very closely, but on certain times. Yeah. So like we will email them, we mm -hmm. will call them, but it'll be in our time, not based on whenever they you know, feel like calling us up. Well, and, I, and I think that's a good relationship to have because it's good to still be close to someone but also to kind of have that cold factor sometimes because this is a business and you know one wrong move and someone could fall off the face of the earth as right. we've seen many times before. Yeah. Um, do you have just one quick tip that you can give people um, kind of just starting out who are trying to gain followers or become an influencer? Yeah, the first thing is mm -hmm. you need to know exactly who it is that you want to become. Okay. Because once you know that, then every single kind of thing that you actually go after mm -hmm. is towards your end goal. If if you do not know that, even though it sounds very cliche, right, very basic, um, then you can get media appearances everywhere. But if it's on all different things, then it's never going to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. So yeah. first thing is be very clear and concise who you want to be. Then that way you can actually reverse engineer how that looks like and mm -hmm. what you need to do to get there. Perfect. And where can people go to find out more information about Influencer Press or follow you? Um, on Instagram, at Ulysses. Okay. Or just InfluencerPress.com. That easy. InfluencerPress.com. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much no for being problem. on the Mount Show. We really appreciate it. I mean, this is something I don't think a lot of people know about really and it's actually a huge deal especially you know we live in park city where we have olympic athletes we have sundance movie stars coming in where yeah. people kind of have to get out there and learn who they are and advertise themselves and that's where you step in to help them take that step up to go up the mountain even higher to climb higher up the mount everest of yeah. becoming bigger so thank you so much for being on the show we really appreciate it no problem dude thank so you. guys that was ulysses asuna check him out on influencerpress.com stick tuned to more mountain morning show we have tons and tons of more show coming up after the break.